The code is 3396966. We know this has to be right because Tesla is the, it was the guy that said if you knew how to control these numbers. Okay, well these numbers are being funneled back into the machine. They have to be. They have to be. Okay. It goes all the way back to the Egyptians and the Mayans, the Incas. Um, there's a lot of evidence that there was um, society on this planet prior to our written history, prior to what we know. Um, probably, you know, as old as 10 to 12,000 years ago. Um, and that would have been the end of their cycle. Uh, that was very advanced and that knew of that energy and that knew how to use it and there's evidence of their passage and this evidence is very very uh, prominent meaning we're talking not just legends and texts but as well huge construction huge buildings that are found all around the world that many of them define defy anything we could build today with our most advanced technology and that's like straight up facts you know the energy is all magnetic in nature it's free in nature. We're swimming in energy. Tesla was a great inventor and uh, a great, great humanitarian. Well, Tesla wanted to get into his field, which was free, if you will, energy that comes from... most primitive of tools, he handles huge 15-ton pieces of coral rock with the greatest of ease. This is his life work, building a great stone city that he hopes will stand for thousands of years. He works as the ancient Egyptians did when they built the pyramids. The rock that serves as an entrance gate is so nicely balanced, a slight push will move it. But that's only the first of many wonders to be found in this strange place. Many and varied are the huge pieces, and one of the most striking works is a huge table carved in the shape of the Florida Peninsula. Here's further example of how he's balanced these great carvings. There's comfort in these rockers, too. Love was love even in the Stone Age, and we have a different version of a merry-go-round. Junior would sleep like a lamb with this five-ton crib. This project may smack of the Stone Age, but it has all modern conveniences. Maybe there's no running water, but Mr. Leeds Cannon has built in basins for modern comfort too. And what's more, a bathtub, oh boy. She's sitting on top of the world or something, just where this unusual artist hopes to be when he completes his most ambitious of hobbies. me to touch it at all and at that point what you're looking to do is add inside this current on the outside a magnetic current you add electric on the inside I got a couple other things missing I, I I pretty much have this thing 
that it just wants to go but it just you know it needs a little bit more momentum but this is pretty interesting I just wanted you guys to see Ed Leah Scallon's wheel look at the spikes that you can see that's coming I got this hooked up and you can see the spikes happened here on conventional physics, it would take terawatts of power to do this. There's no radio waves or anything that can do this. There's no electrostatic fields or lightning bolts that can do this. Well, Ewing, uh, he's the head fellow involved in non-lethal weapon technology. He made an appearance on a program called Encounters. Ed Dames is now out of uh, the INSCOM group, the Security Command group now is on sightings. So there's a wave of media also coming forth, um, such as these programs showing what is really going on. Even ABC and NBC did a special on is remote viewing true or false, and they've got a, a pause then. And their tests are quite exhaustive and um, quite extensive, giving a lot of interesting results. <clears throat> with McDonnell Douglas, they do a multitude of spoon bending where they take control samples. <laughs>